What's going on guys, Team Mart here and today we are going to be talking about the most overpowered thing in Black Ops 3 multiplayer by a long shot. Like nothing else even comes close to how overpowered this thing is and uh, I don't know, it's like it's, it's crazy. So basically what this does is it allows you to steal enemy score streaks. Yes, you guys heard that right. You're able to take enemy score streaks and use them as your own, which is absolutely insane. I wanted to make this video, A, because if you don't know about this, you're at a severe disadvantage when you're playing in the beta, and then B, because I think this has to go. Like, I just, I, I hope that this is not in the actual game because it's going to ruin the multiplayer experience in a lot of ways. So, uh, what I'm talking about is the Black Hat uh, little piece of equipment. So, uh, we've had this before in Call of Duty and Black Ops 2. The Black Hat allows you to hack enemy equipment. So, things like Claymores, Betty, stuff like that, and turn them into your own. That was fine. That's not a big deal. It also allows you to take out enemy score streaks. If you, you know, kind of pointed it at score streaks, it took a while. And then, you know, after, you know, one, two, or three of them, depending on how big the score streak was, you you're able to destroy it. So that makes sense. That's a good equipment. I think that was perfect. Now, uh, in Black Ops 3, the Black Hat doesn't destroy enemy score streaks. It takes them and uses them as your own. So check this out right here. On UAVs, it just takes one Black Hat. All you're going to do is point it at it, let it charge up, let it hack into the system, and then boom, now that UAV is working for you, not the enemy team. So, you know, obviously, that's pretty good in itself. That's like borderline overpowered right there. I don't think there should be any equipment that allows you to just take enemy score streaks because you didn't earn them, the enemy team did, and that's just not fair. Well, uh, if it was just left at UAVs, I guess I could kind of get used to it. Like, it, it's something that's different. It's something that I feel like, you know, isn't, you know, all that balanced. But whatever. I'm not going to be all up in arms about it right away just because it's something different like a lot of people tend to do. So, uh, you know, if it was just UAVs, that'd be fine. But it's not. You can hack literally every score streak in the game. So, some of the smaller stuff like the HCXD, the Hellstorm missile, the care package chopper, stuff like that, you can hack with just one black hat. But then the bigger stuff, you can also hack... It just takes multiple of them. And this is where I have the problem with it, like especially. So uh, look at this right here, the Wraith. It's an 1100 score score streak. It's essentially 11 kills in a row without dying to be able to earn this thing. That is a big score streak. That enemy earned it. I am gonna be able to take it from him because I have two pieces of equipment and about like, you know, 10 to 15 seconds on my hands. That's absolutely outrageous. You should not be able to do that. Next up, check this out. The, uh, the Raps deployment chip, one of the highest score streaks in the game. 1,275 score to be able to earn this thing. Again, it's mine now just because I have two pieces of equipment. I think that is absolutely ridiculous, and it's so infuriating. Like, I, I was running around using this just to get gameplay for you guys, but uh, it it's happened to me so many times. Like, I get a big score streak, and then it gets taken from me by somebody who didn't earn it, who didn't, you know, there are people at the bottom of the lobby going, like, you know, 4 and 16, but they have these enormous score streaks because they have two pieces of equipment that they chose in creative class, and I just, I think that is absolutely outrageous. I'm sure you can act the mother shit. You know, I didn't get a chance to try it because nobody ever earned it, but I'm sure if uh, you have like a, a couple of black hats, two to three black hats, you're going to be able to hack the biggest score streak in the game. And it's just like, that's not cool, dude. Like, I usually I try to keep an open mind about new stuff in Call of Duty. Like, a lot of people get really upset when there's something new and something different that they don't really understand or don't really like. Like, a lot of people really hate the rejack ability in this game. And I'm not going to lie, it's very frustrating, but I don't think it needs to be removed. Like, I, I feel like there are other specialist abilities and weapons that are much better than rejack. And just because it's frustrating doesn't mean that it's overpowered. So, like, stuff like that, I always try to keep an open mind and try to understand where the devs are coming from when they did it that way. But uh, this... I just, like, it, it's not fair, man, and it needs to go. If this doesn't go, literally, well, my classes, and I'm assuming a lot of other people's classes, are just going to consist of two black hats. Like, you're going to have to run that. I probably wouldn't even equip score streaks because I wouldn't want them used against me because once your score streak is hacked, you can't hack it back. It's the enemies now forever. So it's just like, I, I literally wouldn't even run score streaks in the game for fear of them being taken from me and used against me. So uh, I don't know. I, just, I feel like this is the most overpowered thing we have in Black Ops 3. I feel like it's one of the most overpowered things we've ever had in Call of Duty. And I feel like it absolutely has to go. I'm interested to see what you guys have to say. Let me know down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.